right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more upgrades to my X1C. Our friends over at Big Tree Tech have sent us all kinds of stuff from wraps for our 3D printer, a new cool door, and my favorite is the cryo grip plates. I'm still using those over the super tack plates from Bamboo Lab. I just really, really like the cryo grip. So they sent me some more stuff, um, mainly on the inside, um, for us to look at today and to upgrade the, um, X1C a little bit more. So the first one is the jet pack. So it's a cool little cover, you know, the front plate or whatever of your extruder. And it also has that, um, nozzle on the bottom that we've reviewed before as well. So we'll be installing this. We also have the Panda claw, which is a hardened, um, geared set for the extruder. And then we also have the Panda extruder. So we'll go ahead and replace that as well, along with that hardened um, gear set and the outer cover jet pack. So in today's video, I'll show you how to put all of this stuff together and upgrade your X1C or your P1S. And I'm sure it wouldn't be that much different with your A1 or A1 mini, follow the same similar steps here. Um, so if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are on BQ's website and you'll see the jetpack is right here and that's one of the things that we'll be putting on today. One thing to keep in mind is if you do have the jetpack, it does come with this jet cooling fan. If you've been looking at doing this cooling fan, uh, I mean, it's 50, less than $15 to get the whole assembly here. So I would do that instead of just buying one of these because this one comes with it. But it's pretty cool, stylish design. We'll take a look at it. It's an ultralight hollow cover to reduce like inertia and um, you know strain on this. I don't know how much lighter it is. I don't know that that's really something there. I just like the way that it looks. It has a customizable light cover here. It's made with some sort of nylon. It has some stickers in the box here that you can um, put on the little fan to make it um, look better. And it is compatible with their hot end. The other things that we'll be looking at today is the extruder. And this thing looks really, really cool. And it's, I guess, machined out of uh, aluminum, I believe. It's very, very light or aluminum for you guys over the pond. Um, and I would highly recommend doing the claw at the same time since you're going to be in there doing all of that stuff but rock solid feather light and it is um looks very well machined or whatever there's no burrs on it or anything like that it looks really really cool 20 percent lighter higher strength looks really really cool in there kind of that open look versus um you know the normal extruder kind of everything is enclosed right there you can't really see stuff in there all right, and the other part that I highly recommend changing at the same time if you're going to do the extruder is the metal gear in here. I'm going to take out the plastic ones that are in there. This is the Banda Claw. Grab hold of next level performance. That's pretty funny. Ultimate durability. Um, you know, it's metal on metal stuff here. And this is where the filament passes through. Nano coated hardened tool steel. So definitely an upgrade to what is in there today. It does have grease included. And it says it's a drop-in upgrade. And again, I would do this at the same time that you're doing the extruder and everything else. Comes in with the two bearings that you need for it, as well as the grease. So we'll go ahead and get all of this put together and I'll show you how to get it installed in your X1C. So I'll see you in the studio. All right, so here we are with the jet pack. And here's the normal cover right here. All right, so basically what we're gonna need to do is take that screw, that screw, and these two screws out. You do not need to unplug this, but you can. These are 1.5 and these are two millimeter. And those are the two sizes that we're gonna need today um, for everything that we do. So you'll see up here in the top is where those that little thing goes, and then we'll see the two pillars right here. It's where those two screws go. So we'll need to take out this fan. 
and this little board and replace it in there. So let me go ahead and get that done. And I like to start with these two screws first and do save the screws, you will need them. And this does have somewhat of a tight fit, but you can kind of push it from the back side. All right, now that that is out, we can take our 1.5 and take these two screws out. All right, once we have that out, we'll go ahead and install it in here. So once we're gonna go put this in, I like to put this in the little slots that it has here and here, cause that's kind of a booger bear and be careful of these wires on the side. All right, and those should go in there just like so. Then that goes in there just like so. We just need to replace the screws that we took out of the other one. All right, and just like that, we have everything installed and the jet pack is ready to go. So we'll set this to the side and let's go ahead and pull the extruder out of the printer and we'll start upgrading that. All right, so here we are with the claw and the extruder and I pulled the extruder out of the um, X1C. The only parts that we'll need from the old extruder will be these, the top part, a spring and this little piece for the spring right there and that screw. And I'll show you where all of this stuff is, um, but let's go ahead and get this one apart. So again, we'll need a two millimeter and a 1.5 millimeter. And the first thing that we'll do is take the nozzle off. All right, so we won't need the nozzle. The first thing that we'll take off is this upper piece right here. And that's just these two screws. And then once those screws are removed, you just lean this forward and pull it out. So we'll need that piece. And now we'll wanna turn it over, get our two millimeter screwdriver. And there's four screws that we need to take out right there. And if it feels like, and if it feels like a screw is still in there, it's most likely that bearing in there that the shaft is on. All right, so now that we have this apart, we'll see the claw pieces in there. So you'll see that we're replacing plastic with metal. And then we'll be replacing this little gear that's inside of there as well <clears throat> with metal. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is take off the screw that's holding this in place with that little spring. And this is the other piece that we'll save from here. And this is a two millimeter. We'll just go ahead and take the screw all the way out. Like so. And then now this will just pull right out. And the spring has two pieces. So make sure you keep both of those. And that's all that we need from there. So now we'll take our extruder piece. <clears throat> There's two screws holding this together. There is a total of four that will hold it together in the future, but out of the box, there's two of these holding it together. So do save those screws. And then we have the assembly. And you'll see that's what they look like together there. In the box with the extruder come two screws and a bearing. <clears throat> These two screws are for the top and the bearing that came with it is the bearing that goes down in there. So we'll go ahead and seat that down inside of here. So it snaps in there just like so. <clears throat> and that's where this gear will sit later on. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is get this piece with the spring up on top there. So what we'll do is take this screw and it's already threaded there. We'll go ahead and get that started. We'll go ahead and put the gear inside of there on this little pole. Then take your spring and make sure you put this little piece on the top.
and that goes in there like so, and then we'll tighten the screw to hold it in there. And then we'll go ahead and tighten the screw down all the way, just like it was before. And that piece is in there. And we'll stick this piece, the claw, in there. And it snaps right in that little bearing that we put on there. And then inside the claw are two more bearings. One of them goes right on top of this gear right here. And we'll eventually see in there. The other one is spare in case you didn't have one that came with this guy right here. It does show um, greasing this on the gear right here. So let's go ahead and open that up and get it greased. Be sure not to get the grease on here because this is where the filament is going to ride. But go ahead and get it on that gear. Real nice. All right, now that we have some grease on there, let's go ahead and reinsert it in there. Give it a couple spins, make sure that grease is good to go. And then now we can start putting it back together. We'll go ahead and put this on. All right, now that the four screws are back in there, we'll flip it over. Here's where the nozzle goes, but we do need to replace the place where the uh, filament goes into. And we'll reuse the screws that we had before, and those are the 1.5 millimeter. All right, and now that that's put back together, we just need to put our nozzle back on and insert it back into the X1C, put our new cover on, and we're all set. So let me get that done and I'll see you at the X1C. All right, here's a picture of the extruder all installed and put in there. And then here is the new cover over it. This really looks cool inside of there. I should probably add one of the stickers. I might do that later. And you can reprint different things that you want to put in here. So if you want to put your name or your logo or whatever, you can print something in there and put it behind that light. But really cool project. Um, took about 30 minutes. If you didn't record a video, I don't think it would take all that long to pull everything apart. Um, it was super simple. Um, not a lot to it. Just, you know, take one thing out of this one and put it in the other and then um, do all of that. So really cool project. I hope you enjoyed it today, and I hope you enjoy doing this to your printer. I highly recommend it. Um, if you like this video, be sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And I appreciate everybody watching today, and I'll see everybody on the next video. Thanks, everybody.